Welcome, folks. A Sierra game. What Sierra game is it? Well, you should probably know because I, I mentioned this before. I was doing this at the end of the show. <laughs> This is Shivers. This is my second attempt recording this because the first attempt, well, it had a lot of issues with the uh, video. It wanted to like make several separate videos, like one for the cutscene, one for this, one for that, and that's rather annoying. I only wanted to make it one one video, so <laughs> let's start over. Enter your identity in the museum guest book. Okay. Please. Yes, please. I shall definitely do that. Especially since you ask so nicely. That's right now. Yes, I went over it. Alright. Ready for some cheesy cutscenes? I hope so, because here we go. This dare was kind of your idea, you know. But I'm glad I'm me out here and not you in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard those same loving words before. Like the time you guys dared me to spend the night at that cemetery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you die in the museum tonight, I'll make sure she gives a eulogy at your funeral. <laughs> we never would have made you spend the night here if you hadn't have talked about this place so much. Yeah, we thought you'd been kind of, well, obsessed, thinking you were hearing voices and stuff coming from the museum and all. <laughs> Too weird for me. Hey, you know, maybe they're the voices of those kids who disappeared 15 uh, years ago. Right, the police never found the bodies. Or the killer. Yeah, and my sister, you know Julie, the one in college? Says Professor Windelnut went insane. He viciously murdered them and then buried their bodies in the basement of the museum. Sure that's not well, true. What is hiding in that creepy museum right now, just waiting for another victim? Yeah, and the ghost of his victims are calling out, <laughs> warning you. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello? I think it's for you. <laughs> oh, really? You think that's uh, funny, huh? That was just a dog howling. There was something more than that. Well, I didn't hear anything. I think this place is just getting us all spooked. Right. Uh, are you sure you want to go through with this? You could back out at any time. But of course, if you did, you'd probably never live down the chicken jokes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You'll be all right. Come that on, that's your to threat? We'll Living down dog, chicken jokes? Bye-bye. See ya. Later. Peace. That's your that's your threat? Leave, that I'll never be able to live down chicken jokes? Man, y'all are lame. Uh, anyway. I hope that didn't cause an issue, though, with the... When it flipped back to that stupid uh, screen there. Anyway, welcome to Shivers. Um, and I didn't really do much in the last video, so anyway, the first things first, you want to push this and read this note. It's from Whitney and Son Ltd, 1481 West Shire Street, London, England. Sir Hubert Wind it's addressed to Sir Hubert Windlemont at Museum of the Strange and Unusual, Route 57, Mount Pleasant something, which I can't read the rest because it's obscured. But anyway, here's the note. Dear Hubert, the film of Whitney and Son, LTD, is part of the Dickens Financial Affairs that would have lost for 256 years, always in discreet and trustworthy manner. The digital Whitney and Son, James, my eldest, will continue serving you when I retire from the film in a fortnight. He and Geoffrey often played together as children, so I'm sure remember him. James and I were pleased to attend Geoffrey's wedding in London last April, and were surprised not to see you there. The characters responded quite bitterly when asked about you. I tried to smooth things over by making a sizable financial endowment that the couple on your behalf. It puzzles your family and orphans why I've not heard from you for over four years, but we assume the museum keeps you busy. I will not bother you further, however, in my absence. If the firm fails to deliver to your expectations, let me know personally. Your servant and friend, Joseph P. Whitney. Alright. Oh. Oh. Get some couple of numbers here. It says 29. I don't know what that means. 
like I kept insisting in the previous video that I had done before this, uh, I don't know anything about this game. So, and let's wander around here. Here's the other thing I was trying to figure out in the last video, which is this. I still don't know what to do with it. Maybe. It doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what this is about. <sighs> like, I'm sure there is a something to to do here, but I don't know what it is yet. The other thing I noticed when I was playing this before, I mean, in the last video was. I couldn't get inside the museum yet. Let me show you the entrance to the museum real quick. There is the entrance to the museum. Let's go inside. I will try to go inside again. You'll notice this game remind uh, this game reminds you a lot of Mist in the Seventh Guest. That's intentional. The game has a quite a spooky atmosphere, reminiscent of Seventh Guest, and the Mist comparison is obviously because of the fact that you solve lots of puzzles in this game. You will do that a lot in, in the Seventh Guest also. But anyway, let's try and go in here. You'll see that the doors don't work, and you push this button. Welcome to Professor Windlenot's Museum of the Strange and Unusual. Unfortunately, the museum is still preparing exhibits, and hopes you will visit when we open sometime in the near future. Okay, so obviously we gotta get inside somehow, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I'm sure it's something really simple, and I'm sure that if I look it up on the, on the walkthrough, I'll probably like kick myself because it's like, oh, it's that simple, huh? You know? Uh, but anyway, let's just wander around, I guess. I mean, I suppose I could use a walkthrough. I'm trying to avoid that at the moment. But if I start, you know getting to the point where it gets frustrating and no longer fun, then I probably will use a walkthrough. Right now it's, you know, it's not bothering me too much, but it, you know, it is kind of annoying me that I haven't figured out how to that stupid uh, door yet. I'm just clicking on things now, because I don't really know. I mean, my character has not picked up a single item. So I don't really know. Let me get a look at this. Again, I don't know what it does. Or its purpose. Mm -hmm. I have no idea that's for you. I don't know what that's for either. Mm -hmm. Well, that's. I don't know. Shit. Okay, you can look up at the. the pretty. creepy atmosphere here. Um.
I still have no idea how I'm supposed to do that. Hmm. Graffiti on the wall there. Or graffiti on the wall there. Hmm. Stumped here. And all of this is bad. I miss. I don't know if this is purposes. video to just be wandering around like an idiot in this one little area here, so it's, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to consult a walkthrough here. I don't like doing this, but I have no choice, because I'm already stumped, and that's not a good sign. Shivers walk through. figured out how to do it. Okay, so the 29 is relevant. What I need to do is go back to that gazebo and enter that combination. So I was correct about that 29 being important. What we need to do is to there we go. All right. Now what though? What are we supposed to do now? Oh god, it's a gear puzzle. Uh, we have to put these gears in a certain way to make the thing move. I really don't know how to do this, for sure. Um, okay. Okay, you have to do it in a certain number of moves. Too, which I I literally don't know what I'm supposed to do here I'm supposed to make this thing start right okay I can't put anything there at all okay you can't put anything on those Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I see what they want. 
the, I need to put the black, the white gears. Okay, there's a realm of place. Ah, damn, I don't even know what to do. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we have to do this in a certain number of moves? And I really don't know. Hmm. So... What's the objective here? I, I, I made gear puzzles. Okay, move four to A. Okay, so A, one, two, three. Okay, so move this one to here. Two to four. Okay. That's A, one, two, four. Six to two. A, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two. Okay. Three to six. Uh, A, one, two, three. Five to three. Okay. Four, five, eight, one, two, three. Why won't that work? You said it will. I don't understand. That should work. Five, two, three. No, it's saying it's not. I don't understand. Wait a minute. Four, five, six. Oh, okay. Five to three. Oh, wait a minute. That worked. Why'd it work that time? Okay, there we go. And that did what? Okay. Apparently I did something. What did I do? What happened? 
What did I open up? I mean, something happened. Did I open the door? Let's check and see if the door is open now. Welcome to Professor Windlenot's Museum of the Wait, Strange I still open it? and Unusual. Unfortunately, the museum is still preparing exhibits and hopes you will visit when we open sometime in the near future. Okay. So I still can't go inside here? I thought that would open uh, the door. I guess not. So what do I need to do next? I don't know, but let's uh, I guess save our game. I didn't do it right. Wait, so now I gotta do this again? Are you serious? Four to A. Let's try this again. Two to four. Uh, six to two. There we go. Turn around. Oh, okay. I s there we go. Cool, I can cross the lake now. Green circle with swirls. <laughs> that one, I guess, right? <laughs> hmm. So 
circle with swirls, is that it? Or is that the circle with swirls? Red circle within circles. That's the circle within the circles. Maybe. I don't know. Green is the circle with swirls. I can't really tell. Circle with plus inside. Okay, tan circle with plus inside, so. Gray, several semicircles. Again, each other, white. Plus inside. I guess that's a circle with the plus inside. Right? Gray, several semicircles within one within each other. Okay, gray, several semicircles within each other. Is that that? I think that is that. Okay, cool. White is two circles next to each other in a rectangular box. up here. There it is. Orange. Several rectangular shapes in each other, but one side towards side and rectangle is curved inward. Several right kind of shapes within each other. Ah, wow, I did it! Alright, awesome. Cool. Let's descend to the basement, or down these stairs, or whatever. Let's see what we can Creepy. No music. That's creepy. That's time when that sound means that uh, 
that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more shivers. Stay tuned for future let's plays. Let's play. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comments. And I'll see you next time. First, let's save real quick. Because we're stuck in a maze here. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Because this looks like a maze. I kind of want to wander around until I get out of this maze. I don't know what's in it. Are we basically stuck down here now? Can I have one down here? Kind of spooky. Hmm. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Oh, can I stop recording? Cannot be opened. Well, fuck you. What the fuck? Did I just not get another recording again? Did this thing not record yet again? I I swear, man, this is getting really annoying. Hmm.